Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Meghna and today I will be swatching and reviewing the Sugar Metal uh, Satin Lipsticks. So um, there are I guess total 10 shades uh, but I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 of them. So let's begin with the swatches. She says she love me but she don't Playing in my heart just like a repeat of a song Tried to make it work but I'm already gone Told her it's hard to say it but it's true Hard to find the words that I'm supposed to say to you It's time to pack your bags girl cause I'm moving on I said it, I said it, she know that I meant it I gave her all my money, and now that she spent it She already talking like she moving on A girl, I promise she has to be gone, 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 gone Okay, I promise she has to be gone, 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 gone Hey, because you left me with a broken heart Tried to patch it up, but it's so hard But she bit my helper hand. What could I do? Sorry doesn't work. This is the shade number 01 Sophie and this is um, on the website it is described as a bright fuchsia which I completely agree it is a quite quite bright fuchsia i love this shade this is a really nice fuchsia for even dusky skin tones so if you are looking out for like a nice fuchsia um, and if you are of my complexion then i'm sure this is going to suit you very well and you are going to love it this is absolutely stunning color it brightens up my complexion as well as you can see i guess it could be like a really nice dupe for all fired up from mac so yeah this was the shade number 01 sophie this next shade is called 03 Emma and on the website it is described as a reddish brown shade. Um, I would definitely consider this a red with brown undertones which is really pretty. If you don't want to go for like a full on bright red shade then you could always uh, go for this sort of like a muted red like a deeper red with brown undertones. It looks lovely even on dusky skin tones and I'm sure it's going to uh, look amazing on all skin types even for the skin tones that are deeper than mine. Uh, so yeah, this was the shade number 03 Emma. This is the shade number 05 Helena. And um, this is uh, on the website, it is described as a plum berry shade. I completely agree. It is a very nice plum berry shade. Obviously, it's going to suit all skin tones. <coughs> and this... Um, excuse me and this uh, shade has like really nice purple undertones i don't think that i own any lipstick from the sugar cosmetics brand um, that is of this color i don't think they have any color that is similar to this other than uh, you know the sugar metal satin range um, it's a very 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 pretty shade i love the uh, the, the amount of purple undertone that it has really nice really love this shade so yeah, this was the shade number 05 Helena. This is the shade number 08 uh, Eugenie. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, this on the website is described as a deep chocolate brown shade. On my complexion, it looks like a deep chocolate brown, but with a tad bit of gray undertone. I feel like um, it's more like a stone color, like a brown stone color. I don't exactly know how to describe it, but obviously it's going to suit all the skin tones and it's going to look really nice on all the skin tones. Um, so yeah, this was the shade number 08 Eugenie. This last shade that I have is uh, number 09 Charlotte and um, on the website this is described as a true blue red. Uh, now I was really curious particularly about this shade because on the website um, in the photos that they have of the lip swatches it shows um, a bit more pinky than red. So I was uh, wondering if it is actually a true blue red or like a reddish pink or like a pinkish red on my lips it looks more like a red with pink undertone it does not look like a through blue red now when you say through blue red i would expect it to be uh, like a dupe for mac ruby who because that is like a classic through blue red um this one is not this one has like a slight bit of pink undertone i feel um i'm not sure if you can catch it on camera but um it is it, it is not like a through blue red um 
as I said earlier, and I cannot emphasize this enough, it has got like a pink undertone to it. Um, but nonetheless, it looks amazing and it will look um, really nice on all skin tones. Even complexions that are one or two shades deeper than mine um, will be able to rock this shade really nice. And um, as you can see, it brightens up my complexion and I all and obviously I love these kind of colors. So yeah, this was the shade number 09 Charlotte. That was it for the swatches guys, now for the review. Um, these uh, lipsticks um, retail for the price of Rs. 999, so that's like 1 rupee less per thousand. Um, uh, but I got them off the website uh, for 774 by using the points that I had collected over time as I already mentioned in my previous video as well. Um, I will also link down a referral link if you want like 10% off. Um, so you can use it if you want i will gather some points and you will get like a 10 percent off also the amount of product that you get is 2.8 grams which i feel for 9.99 is a bit less but i don't uh, see sugar coming down on the price anytime soon like whatever they are releasing the prices are quite high these days and this being the metal range it is obviously going to be high so that was kind of expected now uh, let's see the claims that are made by uh, sugar for these lipsticks um, they say that they are highly pigmented and I agree completely because they are like one swipe pigmentation as you saw in my hand swatches. Um, then they say that uh, they have uh, opaque satin finish. Now I did not find it to be like a satiny finish because when you say satin I would expect it to be a little bit shiny. Like it, it does have a slight bit of shine but it is more like a creamy matte uh, finish. Um, like I don't know how to describe it like any other you know not like ultra matte but any other creamy matte finish uh, texture uh, then they say uh, that it is uh, lightweight and super hydrating it is lightweight and obviously if it is satin if they claim these lipsticks to be satin um, then I feel it is it goes without saying that they are going to be super hydrating um, next they say it, that it is uh, paraben and fragrance free I don't know I'm, I've not checked the fragrance let me see so no they don't have any fragrance so they are right about that it is uh, fragrance free um, next they say that it is enriched with bentonite clay to smooth and fine lines and also with sea fennel wax to provide nourishment to your lips um, and they have mentioned that the range is cruelty free and vegan now I thought sugar cosmetics by default <coughs> sorry now i thought uh, sugar cosmetics by default was a uh, cruelty free and vegan but i guess not probably they are just cruelty free but this range especially exclusively is i guess vegan as well so that's why they have specified it um, in the features of these lipsticks now about my take on these lipsticks i feel uh, first of all i'm i'm completely in love uh, with the uh, with the packaging of these lipsticks like they are the same the color is the same as uh, the other metal lipsticks but this is so sleek i just love it it's it it, it looks like a chocolate bar like I'm, I'm going to eat it up like i feel like eating it up it's so sleek it's really nice um it does not have a magnetic uh, closure it has that tick wala closure i don't know what that is called but um yeah that is that now uh, talking about the texture of the bullet of these lipsticks these lipsticks remind me so much of the Colorba sinful matte lipsticks the the texture on the bullet is also quite similar to the color bar matte lipsticks even the finish is very similar to the color bar uh, matte lipsticks so i don't know where uh, satin comes to play in this but these lipsticks are basically uh, the same as color bar sinful matte but um, costs like 200 less because color bar sinful matte i guess retail for 1200 and these are 999 so yeah next the lasting power i'd say the last lasting power when i wore these lipsticks was about uh, four to five hours because they transfer quite easily let me show you as you can see they transfer really easily and which is which i which was the same case with color bar sinful lipsticks as well so um i don't know but it, they don't really um, lose their pigmentation that much um they do quite a bit but not that much like it's not like the uh, lipstick is going to completely vanish but after a certain period of time it will vanish so if you eat or drink anything by touching your lips then it will leave your uh, lips in about two hours or so 
but if you don't then it's going to leave your lips in like 4 to 5 hours is what i felt so let me know if you plan on purchasing any of these lipsticks and also which of these lipsticks um, you liked and which are the ones that you liked on me also if you like my swatches and review don't forget to like the video and comment on the video and share um, it with your friends and family and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so i'll see you next week bye when I do, do, but she bit my helping hand. What could I do? Sorry, doesn't work on.